The Wall, a truly iconic piece of music, provided one of the most unique sonic experiences from the last century. idea for the wall come from? Well, it, it started with the theatrical idea. Um, we did a gig in 77 in Montreal uh, for when we were touring Animals as Pink Floyd, and I was very uh, disaffected by being in football stadiums with people who seemed not all that interested in what we were doing. And I'm told, obviously I can't remember this anymore now, but I'm told that I actually spat on somebody who was trying to get up on the stage. And disgusted as I was by my actions, I thought about it deeply and, and lost quite a lot of sleep. And during that loss of sleep, I thought, what a great theatrical idea it would be to do a rock and roll concert and to physically build a wall across the front of the stage while the concert's going on just to demonstrate how much alienation there is potential for in that. And then the record came after that theatrical idea. Roger Waters took control again for the 1979 album, The Wall. Its success led to the production of a huge worldwide tour and a film based on its concept directed by Alan Parker. But behind the wall, things were troubled for Waters. I think the wall was uh, economically and commercially a high point for the band, but psychologically a very, very dark one. I mean, it came out of um, absolute contempt for fame and for the audience. I mean, just before he started writing the wall concept, he famously spat at an audience member who was irritating him in the front row. And they were quite brave in exploring the idea of that barrier between the audience and, and them, which is where this idea came from about literally building a wall between you. For all the, the, the good things that Dave Gilmore and Richard Wright and even Nick Mason did on this album, this is Roger Waters' vision. And it's so unusual because of the way that it tackles that most indulgent of subjects, being a pop star and fame, in the way that it does. The lead single, Another Brick in the Wall, part two, was promoted with a video featuring animation by Gerald Scarf. Its disco beat saw it become their biggest single to date. Mm -hmm. 